Hello, this is the Software Training Lab at the BYU Library. Today we're going to be using InDesign and talking about how to place files in your InDesign layout. We will be using practice files found at the URL here on the screen, files.learnsoftware.org, and there will also be a link to them in the description below. So without further ado, I'm going to go to a new file. It's just a blank page. And to place an image, going to come up to the file menu. About a third of the way down is place. There's also a keyboard shortcut, control D or command D on a Mac. If I click that, it will open my file browser. This is the InDesign day one files once they're extracted. I'm going to click on the images folder. I'm gonna select both of these images using the shift key while I click. I'll go ahead and open this first file I'm going to drag out as big as I want it. The program will maintain aspect ratio, so you can see if I move up and down, it's just concerned about the largest dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and click. And on the loaded cursor, I still have my second image. If I just click here, it will go to its full resolution, full size. Obviously, that's too big for my page. So what I'm going to do is zoom out using Control minus. Grab the corner of this, use shift to maintain aspect ratio, and make it fit on my page. I use control zero to bring my artboard back into my screen. Now it's the right size. Now if I want to move it, and I grab in the center and get that little hand and drag, all I've done is move the content. I didn't move the frame. So a quick explanation of frames in InDesign. InDesign uses frames for a lot of different things, including images. So this orange box would be the content, this blue border would be my frame, and I can select my orange content, drag it completely out of frame. But unlike in this demonstration, it will not show the orange box once it's out of frame. So what I did as I, a page above, is I dragged it just partially and it trimmed out everything that was outside. This can be problematic. However, it can also be helpful if, say, I wanted to crop my picture using my frame. So let's look at how to work with frames and content. So first of all, I'm going to select my image. I'm going to come over to my properties panel. If you're not seeing any panels at any time, come up to the Windows menu, find the relevant panel. So I want properties and it'll pop right up. So I want to fit my content proportionally. So that's just going to fit as much of the content into the frame and maintain aspect ratio. Now, if I wanted to say, just have the faces and cut out the text, if I adjust the frame upwards, it's going to change the size of everything. It didn't crop it. So I'm going to undo using control Z right below frame fitting, it says auto fit. Right now it is selected. If I deselect that, then grab my box here at the bottom, drag it up. You can see it's showing me where it will crop. And then if I want to resize it again, I select auto fit, hold down shift to maintain aspect ratio. And that's how you place images and use auto fit in Adobe InDesign. If you have any other questions, we'd love to talk to you on our website, or you can browse our YouTube channel some more. We hope this helped.